I'm going to show you how to make the most beautiful tray baked pesto pizza pie. It's so good, it's really striking, and it's from my brand new cookbook, Five Ingredients Mediterranean. I'm super proud of it. Five ingredients, super simple, but this time, all that inspiration from around the Mediterranean, those beautiful countries. So let me show you how to do it. Here, we've got 500 grams of self-raising flour. I'm going to put a couple of nice pinches of salt. I'm going to give it a little drizzle of olive oil. And then I've got 275 millilitres of cold water that I'm going to put in. I'll use a fork to start off with. And, you know, often when you're making pizza, you know, you've got to make the dough, you've got to prove it. We've got none of that. Make this dough by using the fork just to move stuff around. Slowly, slowly, you can use your other hand. What I don't want you to do is get, like, really sticky. So just use the tips of your fingers. And then we'll give it a little knead. So as it comes together, you can start being a little bit more aggressive with your hand. And then what I want to do is just knead it, not a lot, just enough to make it smooth and elastic and ultimately clean the bowl so the washing up is nice and easy. So you've got all this stuff around the edge, right? That will all get sort of taken off. So look, I've just kneaded that for like a minute and a half just so it cleans the edge of the bowl like that. So not much washing up to do there. So now I just put it on the board, use two hands now just for a little minute until you have a nice, elastic, smooth dough like that. Look. Very simple, very easy, and a brilliant cheat dough using self-raising flour. So look, we can put that to one side. So let's talk about flavour. On the bottom of this kind of pizza pie, we're going to have pesto, right? So you can make your own, by all means, or you can just buy it, right? Get the best you can. We're going to use mozzarella, which is delicious. This is buffalo mozzarella. These ones are a bit more milky, a bit more tasty, a bit more tangy, but also a little bit wetter. And then here, with these jarred veggies. I'm using artichokes because I think it's a really classic Mediterranean vegetable. I think it's really underloved. And then good old tomatoes. So these are vine tomatoes here. Um, always tasty when you get them on the vine. Uh, you can use any tomatoes you want. I'm just going to get a knife and I'm just going to half some of these tomatoes and if you want you can quarter some others. So this is 350 grams of cherry tomatoes. What I want to do is season that up to be utterly delicious and actually I'm going to use my bowl from before because it's so clean. Um, so in we go with the tomatoes. So take the artichokes out of the jar and we'll steal a little bit of that oil. If you have leftover oil here, right, really really simple, just grab a bit of mustard, um, a bit of vinegar, a bit of salt and pepper, right? Don't throw it away. Always have one part of vinegar to three parts oil and we'll turn this marinade oil into a lovely dressing, right? Give it a little shake. So that is a nice little bit of marinade or dressing that you can put in the fridge for a rainy day. That will last. Nice little hacks, nice little ideas. So look, what we're going to do now is just season this with salt and pepper, mix it up and that's going to roast on top of the pesto. It's going to be great. So let's do the fun bit now. Let's roll out this dough. So I'm going to use my hands to push this dough out. Normally, I'll still need to use a little rolling pin just to roll it out. And if you want to dust it with a little flour, feel free. Just a little flour on top like that. Put it underneath. Look at that. So, super easy super quick. All you have to do here is roll this out uh, to the size of a tray. So this is roughly a 35 centimetre by 25 centimetre tray and I want to roll out this bread dough slightly bigger because I want to do a really nice little twisted sort of crust that's delicious and spongy and crispy to eat. Uh, first what I'm going to do is just lube up the tray just with a little olive oil just so it helps the bottom get golden and not stick. So we definitely don't want you to have a stick and kind of tear it. So that goes to one side. So just roll this out. So it's about an inch bigger than the tray itself. I'll pick this bread dough up like this and just put it down on the tray. I like it having that little overhang on the edge. That's what we want. So just make it fit the tray nicely. We start off with the pesto. So two generous tablespoons of the pesto there and just push that right across the tray. And you can get different pestos as well, so you might want to change up the flavour. So this recipe is open to all of that. And 
Then we've got the tomatoes and the artichokes. I'm just going to scatter those sort of evenly across this tray. You can get beautiful peppers, you can get squash, you can use things like olives, you know, lovely veggies that cook quickly, like asparagus. Really, really nice. So have fun with this. It's a principal recipe. Then at this point, it's super simple. It's not technical in the slightest. I'm going to take up one corner of the pastry and I'm going to fold it over like that. When I fold it over, I'm going to use my thumb just to push down. Then I'm going to put my forefinger here and pull the next bit over and push it down. Simple, right? Like that, like that. So we can spin the tray. Don't stress about this. It's just a bit of fun. It's just a nice little kind of crimped edge. So look, it's already looking pretty beautiful. Um, use the mozzarella, just tear it like this, right? So you can use any cheese you like that melts nicely. Just tear a little bit off and just dunk it in a little kind of evenly dispersed hole. There's really no rules apart from just roughly be even, Stevens. So I've got a little bit of that excess herby oil here from the jarred artichokes, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that over the edges and in and around the beautiful pizza. So look, it's a thing of joy. Now I'm gonna cook this in the oven for 30 minutes and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the oven so the heat has the best chance of making this base nice and semi-crispy. And then we're gonna get this golden and crispy on top, beautiful. So 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, which is around 400 Fahrenheit, and it should be a very beautiful thing. So in it goes. Nice little salad maybe a little glass of wine, and that is a delicious little meal. So it's had 30 minutes, it's smelling and looking pretty good. Have a look at that. It is just a thing of beauty. It's like a picture. It's weirdly satisfying. If I get my knife under here, it should, yeah, it should just slide off, which we like. This is actually you know, for four people. I think that's quite generous. Look at that. Just a nice, juicy slice of our pesto pizza pie. It's really easy. It's really fun to do. I think it's very flexible, depending on what you've got in your fridge or your pantry, like you can have some fun with it. It's nice and hot, so I'm gonna have to eat this in a very technical way so I don't burn myself. Look at that. Quite nice for parties, actually, like a little wedge like that going around, get people going when they arrive at a little dinner party, beautiful. So look, I love how the base is actually nice and crispy, but I also love, see that, see how you get that sponginess there, right? We love that. Ooh, hot. Mmm, mmm. Combo, combinations, like crunch, soft, sweet, fragrant, herb, the mozzarella, milky, tangy, like it is all the things that we love about a good pizza. If you want to get the recipe, then check out the book. I hope you love it as much as I do.